Hello MMO Bugs members, this is Fry, and today we're going to show you how to update MacroQuest 2 offsets for an EverQuest patch with IDA and patch day. We're going to need five programs for this. We need IDA, which is a professional decompiling tool. We're going to need patch day, which is a, a program that automates uh, offset finding via patterns from a database. Uh, we're going to use Beyond Compare 3, which is a uh, file comparer, it will open up two files side by side and sh tell you the differences between the two. We're going to use Crimson Editor which is just an advanced text editor and we're going to use EQ version which is a program that will tell you the version of the EQ game you are using. For starters we're going to open up IDA, I've made a shortcut here. We're going to click New and what we are opening is the September 25th, this is the old version of EQ game. We're just going to click OK on that and we're going to say no to the Microsoft Symbol server and it will start decompiling it up the top here and then we are going to open up IDA again go OK, we're going to go new and we're going to open up the October version, this is the new version go OK, no and this one will decompile too. Now normally decompiling will take about five minutes. You really just have to sit here for five minutes until this arrow stops moving or down the bottom left the numbers stop changing. So I'm just going to close these and open up versions that I've already decompiled. So I'll open up IDA again. We're going to go new go into my already done folder, open up the old one, we'll go load existing because we've already got a database, let's load up another version of IDA, go new, and we want this one on October 9th, then load is existing. So as you can tell it's already decompiled. Now this middle screen might look different, um, it will look something like this when it finishes decompiling, just right click and go text view this is the layout we're going to be using. Now the next step is to go up to file, script file we're going to run our patch day script on the old version first so in the patch day folder there's a file called patchday.idc we open that and then it runs the script in about 10 seconds it will pop up with uh, where you want to save it. Let me get ready for that because I have to get the naming conversions. So we're going to call it raw underscore eqgame.xref. So here is this window that's popped up. So this is the old version. We go in here, there's our file name, and we click save. And again, this please wait IDA script running will take another two minutes or so to do it so let's pretend that's finished I'm just going to cancel it for the time being and cheat by using versions I've already used and then we're going to do this on the new version the 11th of October we go file we go script file we go to the patch day folder we run patchday.idc and it will say running script and we're just going to wait a little bit probably another 10 seconds or so it will ask us where we want to save this here we go and we'll go into new and we're going to call it raw eqgame.xref and we'll click save and because I haven't got enough time to sit here and wait five minutes for this, we'll cancel this and we will cheat. We're going to go to my already done version. We'll copy out the old into here. Copy and replace. So normally you wouldn't have to do this, you just wait. Okay, now that is done. We're going to go to a MacroQuest release. This is an old version of MacroQuest. 
for the old EXE we're using. We're going to go into Mac Request to Main. We're going to go to EQGame.h. We're going to copy that. And we're going to put that in our old folder in Patch Day because this is the old version of it. Now we're going to go start. We're going to type CMD for command prompt. We're going to go D drive. We're going to go to my Patch Day folder. Okay, so I'm in that folder. Now we are going to run this patch.bat file. And this is the commands that it runs. So I will run that because this takes a while too. We take patch old space new. Press enter. So it's comparing our old version, which is in the old folder, compared to the new version, which is in the new folder. So it runs these commands. We are looking for a, it, it compares the two raw reference files that we just created in IDA and it makes a matching file with a 98% accuracy well 98% uh, the same uh, for most patches 98 is fine by the time it runs through you probably got about 10 or 20 offsets you have to find manually uh, you can run it at 90, 80, even 70 when there's an expansion launch and this will give you a lot more offsets so you don't have to manually find as many but by doing that you also uh, heighten the chance of getting bad offsets automatically generated so most of the time you really want to just do 98% so this we can wait for another five minutes to, for this to be done or we can cheat which I'm going to do and we'll go to my version that's already finished so in our old version we've got an EQ game that's one we copied in and these and then it's got our IDC file now what we want to do with that in the patch day folder there will be this add to IDC.txt copy the text in there go into here go right click on it the IDC file the EQ game to the IDC and put that at the top of the file and click save and close that and now because it's in the old version we want the old version of IDA we're going to go file we're going to go script file we're going to go to our patch day folder in the old and we're going to import this eq game.h.idc now once this is done patch day has generated a bunch of names so if we randomly scroll through here, actually let's have a look at the exe. So we're going to right click on eqgame.h and open it up in the Crimson Editor. So these are the old offsets. So let's go to this offset. Actually, let's go to something else. see what we've done with IDA it's named the functions now before we imported that file these weren't named this really makes it a lot easier for finding things which I'll show you in a little bit so we're going to open up beyond compare and have a look at our results so we're going to do a folder compare already done, we're going to drag in the old one and we're going to drag in the new one and let's have a compare of how IDA went so the red are updated offset so we scroll down there actually looks pretty good so we're looking for zero zeros if we have a zero x zero zero that means it couldn't find the offset which I haven't seen any yet See here's a couple. So that's three. So do we get three? Looks like we've only got three offsets we have to find manually. This patch it altered this CX window. That's why I didn't automatically find them. So we are going to go into our new folder.
No, we're not. We're going to go into our patch day folder. Get this add to IDC. Copy that. Go to new. We're going to edit this IDC file. Paste this at the top. You can see these are the offsets and these are the names. This is what we're going to import into IDA. So we go into this. This is the new version. We're going to go script file. We want new. Open eqgame.h.idc and this will import the offsets. Now, when you're doing this, uh, check down the bottom if any errors come up. Sometimes, if an offset is wrong, you get a notification down here. That's the easiest way to find bad offsets. So, if we go to let's go back to uh, Beyond Compare, let's compare these. So, we're going to copy this offset put it into our old version so that is where that's pointing and oops, not what we want, we want it here, what are we doing move one, let's compare it to this one jump to address and if you look, I'm circling between the two they look pretty much the same, how you can tell the code all on the screen is exactly the same. The arrow at the top is practically in the same position up here. Uh, we look at the hex view. It's another way you can check. See if the hex view lines up. You can see the numbers here, exactly the same. So we have a match for that. Really, I don't need to check most of these. There's a fourth offset. Okay, let's try and find this offset in the way that I do it. So we'll copy this into the old exe. Jump to address. So this is the information we're looking for. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to go Control alt s and we're going to convert to our, oh, no, we're going to test IDA pattern. And we get this, we're going to copy this. Uh, by the way, this Control Alt S, this is a plugin. See, it's called SigMaker. Okay, let's go to the new exe. We go Control Alt S, we go Test IDA Pattern, paste this in, and click OK. And it will search, and it couldn't find it, which is not a good sign. So let's do another thing. Let's say go above it, we'll highlight uh, the code above it. Because if we can find the code above it, we should be able to just find the code below it. Okay, so copy that. Go into here, Control Alt S, test IDA pattern, and find this code for us. Look at that, we got an offset. Okay, so we got G, 4D, 4A, B9. So, yep, this looks pretty similar. We keep scrolling down, it ends the draw. Okay, we'll keep going. So this area should be look at that. So let's go back to the offset we're looking for. Back to the old version, the exact version is here. So this is the offset we want on the CXE, which would be this. So we go in here and we go paste. That's our updated offset. And then we go ahead and do that again for these three more offsets. How about I do one more? So we go here, get this one, jump to address. Oh, we don't want it highlighted, jump to address. Okay. Now, because Patch Day couldn't find this, let's find the code above it. Control on S, test IDA pattern, copy that. Go into this here, test IDA pattern, paste, and it didn't find anything. Okay, let's try a bigger section of it. Oops. Highlight, sorry from the bottom. Control S, get a test IDA pattern, copy that. To here, 
call s pattern and we didn't find that either okay that's a bit of a bummer let's try finding it below so if you look at this cx bring to top cx window bring to top bring to top okay so let's go here jump to address so this should be the same area as here yep okay so the offset we were looking for was this one jump to address I should be just using the G hotkey so the offset we're looking for is up here let's go G again so it's that push ESI push ESI does it look similar let's click here that looks about right, let's have a look at the hex view let's go to hex view at 56 hex view 56 yep that would be it so we copy this offset wrong screen so this was the process transition and we click paste and we'll save that so ultimately we have two offsets to go we'd have to do the same thing for them but I'm gonna confirm what I just found so here is the updated version of Mac request which will have all the answers for us pretty much the cheat sheet let's open that eqgame.h will edit that in a text editor and make this easier to see so we need to scroll down to near the bottom to the CX window stuff CX window so which ones we updated this process transition yes we got the correct offset um, I can't remember the other one we updated I'll just run a quick look yep it all looks pretty good so If I can go undo, undo paste, undo paste. So it's this one. So the draw window. Okay, redo paste, redo paste. Child draw window. Let's have a look. Look at that. We got that one right too. So ultimately, we would just have to find these last two offsets and we should be able to compile Mac request after that this isn't gonna guarantee Mac request is gonna work this is just one step really of getting Mac request to work this is really the most basic step but on basic patches this is really all you have to update on more complicated stuff you have to do structure updates which are a pain in the butt and I still don't quite understand how to find them but I'm gonna leave the video at that I hope this helped you out if you have any questions, post them below or post on MMO Bugs. This is Fry signing up. Thank you.